got a bench vise that I recently found a really good restoration video of someone restoring one of these. Um, I just noticed a little bit ago when I went back to check who, who it was that did the video that they made it like a year ago and they haven't posted anything in over six months. So I'm not really sure if they're still around. They have some really good content I liked. I just recently subscribed to them because I just found them and they have a bunch of videos that I'm interested in. But I've got this beast of a vice here and I really want to know more about it. I can't seem to find the name anywhere on it, but it seems to be um, a few people commented on that guy's restoration video saying that they had a, sim a similar vice and they were looking for parts for it. Uh, apparently it's really common to lose uh, the pipe jaws down there in the bottom. I do still have mine. It's actually got everything. Um, everything still functions, nothing's broken, nothing's missing. This, my understanding um, from talking to my uncle, this is my grandpa's absolute favorite tool that he owned. Um, so I'm not entirely surprised that it is in decent condition aside from the paint. Uh, kind of a neat vise. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I don't know who made it or how old it is, but it is odd in that there is no way to lock the rotation on the vise head other than once you tighten it down on the workpiece. We'll just tighten it down on itself real quick. Once you tighten that down, you can't rotate it at all. It stops. But you can it loose even just a tiny bit, and it swivels freely. So I thought that was a really odd design. I've never seen that. Every other vice I've ever used or seen or owned that uh, would swivel like this for doing pipes on the bottom. They've always had some sort of locking mechanism on the side there where you lock the head and then the workpiece separate. This is the only vise I've ever used that didn't have that. And um, that was one of the first things I noticed in watching the restoration video that indicated to me that that might be the same vise. Um, then obviously watching through the whole video, it's definitely the same vise. He's just missing the bottom jaws. And um, his looks a lot nicer than mine because he uh, restored the whole thing and painted it up. I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I would like to get rid of the chipped paint on here and strip it all down, but I doubt I'm going to go through and do a full restoration on it. Um, his kind of needed it because it was broken and he re-welded it. I mean, he, it was a great video. I watched the whole thing start to finish. Everything he's done that I've watched, I've really enjoyed. Um, I mean, that's why I subscribed to him. Uh, his name was Will Matthews. If anyone has any ideas whatsoever as to what this vice is, who made it, how old it is, any information at all, I'd be thoroughly grateful. Um, like I've said before, I recently inherited a lot of my uh, grandfather's tools and um, I've been going through them trying to figure out what I got, what he had. Um, it'd just be nice to know, have some information on some stuff. Um, I'll post a link to his video down below um, if I can figure out how to do that. I've never done that before, um, but you guys, uh, I mean, seriously, check out some of his stuff. I've loved everything I've watched from him. I'm probably going to steal a few of his projects for myself. Um, check out that guy's video. Uh, Will Matthew, subscribe to his channel for sure, even if you don't subscribe to mine. Um, He's got a lot more great content. Uh, he has actual content instead of just fucking updates. But and he doesn't doesn't seem to talk a whole lot or at all. I don't think I've actually found a video yet of him talking, but he's got some really great projects on there. Um, any information about this vice would be massively helpful in trying to figure out what it is, where it came from, how old it is.